Hi friends, that's Iman Mahmoud, math teacher from Taqiyya. Welcome in our math planet. Let's start our journey today, inshallah. Our journey is about properties of multiplication. Let's start. Let's revise the commutative property. If we have 5 times 3 equals 15. The commutative property says that we can switch or commute the factors like that. 3 times 5 equals the same answer 15. So remember the commutative property with flip flop. So the commutative property says that we can switch the factor and still get the same answer. Now, it's the time for the associative property. If we have 2 times 3 times 4, uh-oh, how can I multiply 3 numbers? Here, we need the associative property. And the king parentheses will help us. How? Here, I need any 2 factors. Choose any 2 factors inside the parentheses. I'm going to start with 2 and 3. What about the third factor? Outside. But wait, the king parentheses here, you say that you have to start with me. If you have parentheses, you have to start with the king. So, 2 times 3 equals 6. After that, 6 times 4 equals 24. Another way, I'm going to change the factors inside the parentheses. 2 outside, and this time, 3 and 4 inside. 3 times 4 equals 12. Great. 2 times 12 equals 24. Another way, 3 outside, and this time, 2 and 4 inside the parentheses. 2 times 4 equals 8. 3 times 8 equals 24. In the three ways, we got the same answer. Here, let's see this exercise. Use the parentheses and show three ways to find 2 times 5 times 3. Way 1. I'm going to write the parentheses and choose any two factors. I'm going to start with 2 and 5 inside and 3 outside. 2 times 5 equals quickly. It's 10. 10 times 3 equals 30. Perfect. Way 2. 5 and 3 inside and 2 outside. 5 times 3, I'm going to help you. 5 times 3 equals 15. 15 times 2 equals 30. Good job. Way 3. Here, 2 times 3 inside and times 5 outside. 2 times 3 equals 6. 6 times 5 equals 30. Another exercise, write the missing number. Here I have at the left 2 times 5 inside the parentheses and time 3 outside equals 2 times what inside the parentheses? 1 times what? Look at the two sides. What the missing factor here? I have 2 at the left, 2 at the right. 1 at the left, 1 at the right. So the missing is 3. Great. Let it be 3 times 2 times 6 at the left. Add right, what this number? Times 2 times 6. Quickly, compare between the two sides. 3 left? Uh-oh, I don't have 3 right. So great, 3 is the missing number. The last one for you, quickly with me. 5 times 2 times 4. Add the left, 5, 2, 4. Add the right, I have 5 and 2 only. So the missing factor is 4. Great job. Now, let's summarize our journey. The commutative property adds flip-flop the factors. Remember it with flip-flop the factors like 4 times 5 equals 5 times 4. Great. Associative property, it's changing the grouping order using king parentheses. So here, 2 times 4 times 3. I can do it 2 times 4 within the parentheses and 3 outside or 
two outside and four times three inside. And the last way, two times three inside and times four outside, and you will get the same answer. Thank you so much for watching the video and see you the naked journey. Thank you, goodbye.